Yeah, good morning, y'all. What's happening, man? I'm over here driving to work, listening to folk do just the weirdest type of decision making on their commentary. Like, you spent time at home doing your homework, putting the information together for the show, and you literally decide to clown somebody else's opinion as a talking point on your show. That kind of stuff to me is weak as hell, yo. You don't have to clown somebody else or use somebody else's thoughts as your material. That's just weird to me. That's that's a little weird. But neither here nor there, back in the building, was Mitchell Robinson. Blockness, literally had two blocks. He didn't play a whole, whole lot, but he's going to get his, his conditioning and his win back and... It, it was awesome to see. I was very glad for it. Deuce McBride hitting nine threes, trying to get up on Dante's list. You know what I mean? Yo, yo, this team, man. This this team. And we are firmly in third place as of last night. Good good looking out of uh, Magic and them for losing the games and, and, and Cavs and stuff. Good, 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 good job. Good job. I appreciate y'all for that. I really do. And we should have another dub against San Antonio coming up. And, you know, listen, at the end of the day, man, this season is wrapping up rather quickly. You know, it's almost done, done, done. And the playoffs start April 16th, which is not even three, which is what, three, three, three and a half weeks away? crazy. It's a crazy time right now. It's the exciting time, y'all. You know what I mean? So, I was really, really glad to see all of it, actually, last night. I mean, I know Toronto was was severely undermanned and, of course, you know, my heart and prayers and everything always will be with RJ and IQ as they, you know, process and, and, and heal from the emotional traumas of their losses. Especially, well, yeah, both of them. So, I'm like, I'm, my heart's always with them. But I was glad to see the, the arse whooping of the team happen. Because Toronto, man, I don't know, I mean, trading Siakam and all that. I, I, we'll see what, what happens to them in the future. That's pretty much all I can say about that. But the defense that I saw, I mean, Hartenstein right in line with what he'd been doing all year is beautiful. But then Mitch came in and he literally muddled up the middle. It's beautiful. Just his presence stops people from doing what they want to do and makes folk uncomfortable as all get out. So, yeah, man. And I feel like. I feel like Precious was mad last night. This was a Precious re- revenge game. Because <laughs> what Mike Green said, they might give back the gift basket. <laughs> he was yamming on folk and all. Yo, yo. Precious went off. Precious went off. So it's good stuff. I was very happy to see it all. Um, again. Third, third, third is is very interesting because it gives us home court advantage in the second round. So I'm 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 enjoying that idea. It might give us in the second round, depending. But still, it's 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 a better road. And I mean, I don't know if we're gonna stay in this spot, but between three and four, I'm good as long as we don't dip to five, which I don't think we'll do. And trust me, I know we've got some hard games coming up, but this is the Knicks. I think they'll be fine. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, hard teams is what the playoffs is. So, dude, this is a nice tune-up coming up, you know what I mean, for the playoffs. So, either way, this is a win-win for us and the team. And let's get it on. Let's get it popping. Let's go. It's been another Knicks Minute, family. I will holler at you later. Nicklandia will be back in effect very shortly, and 
Nick and Tater is coming on board to hang out with us a little bit, so I'm really excited about that. So stay tuned, my people. You know, have a great Thursday, and be blessed. Peace.